We're here with Father Muir following Mass today. And Father, um, you know, listening to your homily during the 9 a.m. Mass here this morning, one of the big words I, I heard and took out of it was faith. And when you listen to the gospel reading, you hear, she's not dead, she's sleeping. And just having that faith in those words, and it seemed like a very powerful message today. If you could just just share what went into today's homily. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, faith is at the heart of the readings today from the, the Gospel of Mark. You know, faith gets a bad rap, Derek, because it can seem so vague, like, oh, you have faith. But, you know, the, the, this beautiful miracle, a double miracle with Jesus raising this girl from the dead and healing the, the woman— shows that faith for us is specific. It's faith in Jesus Christ and his victory over sin and death. There, there's that great line when Jesus gets ridiculed and mocked when he says the child's not dead but sleeping. So as, as, as Christians, we see, we see two level, levels. That one is his, whatever Jesus says is true <laughs> because he is the logos. He's the divine power of God. Um, so that word has power to change her from a dead kid to a sleeping kid, but it also foreshadows um, Jesus's sleep in death, right? I mean, Jesus actually dies on the cross, but it's his cross and his resurrection, which uh, un un unleashes the power of, of Jesus's victory over sin and death. So for us as Christians, it's always, I have faith not only in God and in God's existence and God's benevolence and that kind of thing, God's love for me, but I have specifically power, I have, I have faith in Jesus' power over sin and death. Now, uh, s stepping I'm sorry, away... sorry, did I say sin and death? I mean his, his, death, his, his cross and resurrection. Now, I'm, I'm there we go. Mass and pass. Like, blah, 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 blah. I hope <laughs> I didn't say anything that messed up at Mass. But we have, it's specifically faith in Jesus and his victory over sin in his death and his resurrection. That's what I meant to say, Derek. <laughs> there we go. We got that. We got that right now. So, so we're good there. All right. So taking a step away from mass today, we have a busy week upcoming here at St. Thomas Aquinas, a lot going on. And you kind of mentioned it at the end of mass today, but upcoming this week, we'll have adoration. We're starting that back up and the chapel looks beautiful, by the way. Uh, on Wednesdays even, we'll offer reconciliation in the evening. And then we have some small groups and some Bible study groups. So just a, a, a lot of different ways for people to come back to campus and get involved with all the fellowship yeah. going on. Yeah, I'll mention those things too. But, you know, in, in, like, in light of the, the gospel reading we, we just heard, you know, Jesus is like this he's just he's like a magnet right which draws people to look at him touch him receive power from him so everything we do at the parish everything you just mentioned are ways that that's happening right here where jesus is the center of our whole community and we have all these opportunities to draw close to him and organize ourselves around him to be attentive to him some of those coming up this summer like you mentioned are a wednesday night we have expanded confession time sacrament reconciliation from five to seven through the summer that's marvelous in addition to saturday mornings at eight thirty. Also, adoration. I mean, what a great time to just be in the Eucharistic presence of the Lord, to bring our needs, just to enjoy being in his presence and to enter into deep, you know, conversation of the heart. So that oh, that's, in a, like, we have a temporary adoration chapel. It's just to the right of the vestibule as you walk into the entrance of the church. So come check it out. Um, you, can, you don't have to sign up for an adoration hour or slot. I mean, you can if you'd like to. That's wonderful. We certainly need that. But just come and pray on it. Um, uh, check the check this email for the, the slots. Also, Bible studies. We have a book study on our summer book, Why We're Catholic. You know, these are this isn't just about more activity as a parish. It's about focusing on the Lord. And these are all concrete ways that we can focus on him so that we can believe in him more and access more of his power. Father, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we look forward to catching up with you on Tuesday for the parish update. Sounds great and happy uh, Independence Day, everybody.